marked a turning point in history, where three ships took the risk for the sake of exploration. This discovery enabled the humankind to step beyond its horizons and open opportunities to many. Though with every end comes a new beginning. Today, America, the land Columbus once discovered, has prospered and climbed to reach new heights. This is a new generation of exploration. It starts in space. 68 Earth-sized planets have been found, 54 with possible hospitable life. The Kepler telescope was able to detect some, while others remain unknown. The United States federal government should explore Goldilocks' planets using interferometry by setting up five telescopes. Rule number one significance, A. There are billions of habitable planets that we have not yet explored. University of Copenhagen are well habitable planets in the Milky Way since the 11th of July, January 2012. Together, the three methods are, for the first time, able to say something about how common our solar system is, and as well as how many stars appear to have Earth-sized planets in the orbital area, where liquid, what could, in principle, exist at lakes, rivers, and oceans, that is to say, where life as we know it from Earth can exist in principle, says Ufukara Jorgensen. He explains it, that a statistical analysis of all three methods combined shows us that our Milky Way, out of the Milky Way's hundreds of billions of stars, there are about 10 billions of stars with planets in the habitable zone. B. We'll have 9.4 billion people soon that we need to feed. Webster Jonathan, Agricultural Funds Man Management, outgrowing the Earth macro May 25, 2011. According to the latest United, United Nations estimate, the 6 billion inhabitants of the Earth today are expected to grow to 9.4 billion by 2050, most of which will be born into developing countries such as China and India. This means that at the current level of production, by 2050, the world will have to produce 70% more food to feed them. World War II, harms. A, there are so many things we don't know about space. Humber Ways, president of National Wide Funding Corp, the Universal Perspective, views and previews, views and previews, dot com, 2008. But with purely scientific perspective, we're still trying to seek the answers to some very fundamental but intriguing questions concerning the universe we live in. What is this universe that our solar system is a minuscule part of? How vast is it? Is it the only universe, or are there any more universes in a multi-dimensional, multiverse system? And also, what is the state of our present knowledge and understanding? How much do you really know? The honest answer is really not much. To maintain a relatively simple discourse at this point, we will abandon our multiverse probe for the time being, and limit ourselves to the little universe. B, we are reaching carrying capacity. Jason G. Brennan, millions of people will die of horrible encounters.org, January 9, 2011. At present, human population is growing. It is highly likely that the average per capita usage of resources will continue to increase due to the rapidly growing economies of India and China, and the growing economies of many other nations of the world. Therefore, very strong, a very strong ca case can be made that humanity will shortly exceed the carrying capacity of the Earth, if humanity already has not exceeded that capacity. If humanity exceeds the carrying capacity and takes so immediate action to reduce the population and or the usage of resources to reduce its impact on planet below carrying capacity, then humans will enter into violent competitions for the resources necessary to survive and the horse set forth will occur. In simple terms, it will reach. It will be each and every man, group, religion, nation, culture against each every other. C. Our planet is moving towards danger as we're rapidly consuming limited resources. Angela Robert, re reporter, Yale Environment, 360, part of the Guardian, uh, Guardian Environment. What a population of 7 people, billion people means to the planet. The Guardian, Guardian.co.uk, July 18, 2001. Would we worry about our individual consumption of energy and natural resources if humanity still had a stable population of roughly 300 million people, less than today's U.S. number, that the species maintained throughout the first millennium of the current era? It is precisely because our population is so large and growing so fast that we must care, ever more with each generation, how much as we individuals are out of sync with environmental sustainability. Roman numeral three, inherency. A. People don't care about the future and the search of planets that we can colonize. Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, humanity must colonize the planets of the world now August 2nd, 2011. It's because people are selfish and only care about themselves in here and now. Most people would agree that in order to, to ultimately survive humanity, Musk, humanity must colonize others' planets, but they don't care because it won't affect them personally. What does anybody care if 2,000 or even 100 years from now on the whole species will go extinct? That is the problem with humanity right now. They don't care about the future. They think that as long as the present is good, the future will work itself out. Rule number four, plan. 
A. Use the concept of interferometry to find extrasolar planets. It will work by combining the lights of five telescopes we'll have. This will form an image with high resolution depending on the distance between the two telescopes. B. It will have adaptive optics, which use laser beam to correct at atmospheric distortions for accuracy. C. Funding. Use Federal Reserve money and private companies that will be accredited. D. Enforcement. Thousands of dollars fining or jailing depending on severity of punishments. Roman numeral 5. Solvency. A. It brings home knowledge. Pilgrim Gear Alpha, importance of space exploration, lost in 2011. Hundreds of millions have been launched until date to explore extraterrestrial bodies from the moon to Mars and the very periphery of our solar system. Through space exploration planets, including, uh, including Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and other planets, we have gathered a wealth of data that has helped scientists unravel the mystery of the formation of our solar system and the question of why life only emerged here on Earth. B. We can understand the solar system better. Gertrude Nicola, contributor, Why Should We Hunt for Explanations on February 24, 2012. Likewise, studying exoplanets and the systems we find in other systems allow us to postulate on the formation of the solar system itself, and also determine whether our sun is a rare star. It is true that all these factors lead into the idea of extraterrestrial life, but that's by no means the only information we can gain from exoplanet observations. In fact, all the data so far points to a quite bleak and depressing outlook if we're expecting to find extraterrestrial little green men. C. We can colonize other planets. The Andrew special correspondent, humans will soon inhibit other planets to thus apply the history of 20, February 27, 2012. There are planets like Kepler's 22H and Reason 667C, which have the same temperatures as of Earth. Man can move into these planets for a living and come back to the Earth on a holiday. He said, these planets are outside the solar system at a distance of 120 light years. But human race can go and live there. These are potential habitation planets, he pointed out. D, benefits just with resources. Science for why science exploration is worth it. Science for Dalcom, September 30, 2007. Gaining resources. Space exploration might eventually start gaining resources. The money we're spending now might really help in the long run. We probably will even start mining the space rocks, such as asteroids, meteors, comets, and planets. The minerals will help, help take pressure off the high demand on Earth. The price of oil might decrease significantly, and you will help the needy and save the poor. Uh, I'd like to leave the ad of our to my partner. So, to conclude, the exploration of Goldilocks plants have provided us with a safe, will provide us with a safe new home. It can provide us with resources and abundance of knowledge, and as well as abundance of knowledge. This knowledge will allow us to understand the principles of the universe and the formation of the solar system. We can now save our next generation. Thank you. Discover yet. Therefore, we have to uh, search for Goldilocks plants because that will provide us with an abundance of knowledge. Are the telescopes going to be here on Earth or in space? In space. Um, and how are these telescopes going to help us? Well, um, they'll use the um, concept of interferometry, which is using five different telescopes and um, use your lens and use uh, these telescopes to have like a clear resolution, like a high resolution image, and it will um, explore a lot more like have a wider range of exploration and we'll um yeah explore um go to lots of plants. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 